California has been on the road to recovery. We've been creating more jobs than any other state. But it's been an uneven road. California is an economy of regions. And some of our regions are doing really well after the Great Recession, and some of them aren't. The California Economic Summit began three years ago with this in mind and more, that the answers to job creation weren't going to come down from Sacramento, but up from the regions where the rubber meets the road. The strength of California really is on the ground. It's in our communities, it's in our small businesses, and to take all of those great ideas at the local level and then move them up into the legislature, I think is a great process. California is not just a state, it's a state of 37 plus million people living in some 476 plus cities in 58 different counties, each one special and unique. And there's much to do to make sure good middle class jobs are created in all regions and stay in California. We've come together in the regions and at two statewide meetings to identify and address these initiatives. People have noticed. It's exciting to see those regions come together today and talk about how we can work together across the state. One of the things that's so important about this uh, summit, this economic summit, is that they've created a blueprint and that blueprint is so valuable. It's incredibly important to get this kind of feedback from subject matter experts who start at the bottom level and it trickles up to Sacramento. Today we come to Sacramento to communicate with state leaders what we've done and what's left to do. We'll have three conversations to answer some critical questions. One, how do we prepare a workforce that's aligned with jobs in our regions? In California, there are over 300,000 unfilled jobs because people don't have the skills. I think the missing piece has been bringing business and industry to the table. So the resources we put into it, the time and effort we put into it, are actually responsive to what the emerging trends in technology are. And we have to train our students as future workers, provide them with an education that's holistic, but also that leads to a well-paying job. And in particular, how to attract, capture, and keep manufacturing jobs in California. Every single one of us has this same issue of finding and keeping skilled workers in California. Those are good jobs. That's part of allowing people to get to the middle class. Two, how can we finance, build, and maintain an infrastructure that'll soon have 50 million people living here. So the infrastructure, uh, our transportation, our water, our energy, even our education system and, and, our, and our technology, those are the things that really form the backbone of California's economy. And while we look at infrastructure, we have to address a chronic California challenge, water. How we store it, how we move it, how we use it. It's, it's crucial obviously to our agricultural regions and uh, throughout the backbone of the state. It's important to uh, continue our real estate development, the growth of our cities. Three, and if we're going to grow, where are we going to live? How can we live closer to our jobs and how do we find capital to create these jobs? Without housing, uh, we cannot keep a workforce here in the state and so it's going to be very, very important that we focus on it. Big challenges? Sure. California's strengths, its size, its diversity, its natural wealth have always come with challenges. But keys to the state's success have been its ambition and creativity. Finding answers to these questions will be vital to California's prosperity in the decades to come. This is absolutely how it should work. The summit has to continue. Our future is tied to everyone else in California. The regions rising together. Because every person in this room, every contributor to the summit process has a role and a responsibility to help us see this thing through.